Okay, and we're here with the winner semis. We have Nero versus Helio. It's Helio, a seasoned player from Brazil. One of the strongest players, dare I say. Right next to Void, who's, well, kind of interchanging with Void, as Void is also in this tournament, looking into winning this tournament as well. I don't know how it, I could have played better. Nice little setup from the near here. Is, is she, are they going to get the piece they need for that? Looking like a no to me. They're just going to set the full chain here. That is a huge fly. I'm going to swat it. I can't swat it, so I'm going to have to get raid later. Amazing 12 from Helio with an amazing 11 from Nero. Not nearly, almost close there, but really an excellent preface to what this battle is going to entail. Like I said, Gold Bracket, best of the best players competing right here of this tournament. So there's going to be a lot of nuance here. Unfortunate little misdrop for he from Nero here, however, um, with the little transition bug here, and Nero and Helio, as we all know at this point, will be attacking as soon as they get a, a, a clear opportunity moment to do so. But Nero's looking to replicate that formula here. Those purples, in the part, okay, they're going to set that off. Nero needs to get a bigger chain than this. Much more more than that. Not, a three chain's not going to cut it. Not going to be cutting it. As I said, giving Helio a really strong lead into this. Okay, Helio doing a little bit of the will strat of just chaining a little bit backwards, but still getting his chain, except will, except Helio actually focused more on the transitional side of things, so his chain is a little bit safer. A rush from Helio, surprisingly. Not going to be enough to counter he to counter Nero's attack, however. So this will be a little bit of fall downfall here, and Helio has that knowledge in him. He has that game that, hey, maybe I didn't do it good enough, so I'm just going to sit this one out, but he's up two points, so worst comes to shove, Helio can just attack his way back in. We might be seeing that right here. I might be speaking into existence. No, not quite yet. He is looking for a main chain here. Or at least a, an attack into a main chain. So not like a scary hellfire. Nice little chain from Helio. Not going to be enough from from Nero. Nero's gonna have to really adjust here if, he, if they want to take games off of Helio right now. We could be getting the bracket upset right here, but Nero really has to like pay attention to Helio because Helio is a strong player and he will be he will be snuffing out any weaknesses that he may find in this bracket. Nice one chain from Helio. Nice little submarine chain from from Helio. Diving. Well, it's not really a dive chain, but it's well, it's it could be probably a dive. I don't know. I call it submarine because it, it kind of reminds me of one. So that's what I'm doing. We got this nice submarine from Helio, giving him another point into this point. But it is a first to nine, so Nero does have time to catch up here. Little elevate GTR from Nero here, but of course, they are gonna have to learn how to preserve that and counter anything that Helio may throw at them, just like those. A nice three chain from Helio, followed by a nice response from a Nero. The witch offers him a potion, and he says no, thank you. Okay, Nero just needs to get their chain. 
a little bit saucy there, but will be doing the job. Might actually be a lot powerful than the Helios, but the amount of greens are getting right here. Yep, a uh, 8-chain and a lot of Puyos being popped there. That is recipe for a good counter here. Very nice, very nice. Scenario's so pulling themselves up 2-4 to, to, two to four now. Nero didn't offer the all clear, probably a really small choice from them. Because with knowing Helio, they would have just attacked right away and then outchanged out you. You never know with Helio, but that is that is something that he does. Is he does that to me all the time in ranked, and I have to catch him on it. Then I haven't really played ranked since uh, I want to say November. No, not November. Um, February. Yeah, that's much the last time I actually played ranked. <laughs> Let's see. Like, I play online frequently, but yeah, Wink itself, I'm just like, no. <laughs> Does have an easy six chain with those purples, Nero. Oh, okay, a little bit of a pre tip from Nero. Probably not a good call to just attack Helio out of the blue there. You will need to like, have a plan and to make sure that he's in a drought state here. But a nine is beatable. It does power. I'm not sure if it's gonna beat that nine that Hilo just made. No, a lot of a lot of more resources could have been used for that. Um, but giving Helio another point on the board. Sorry, it's first ten. I'm not sure why I thought it was first to nine. It was first to seven. But regardless, all clear from both players. Nero noticeably chaining at the middle of the ch middle of the board here. Not the safest plan there, but did get another chain to just neutralize all the garbage. So that lowers any all clear spikes. However, um, Hilo is at a, de at a better advantage here because he does have the means to go ahead and um, extend his chain going forward here. Very nice. That's gonna close it out though. Helio will be taking on his spot in the gr at the grand finals, a um, winner finals of this of gold bracket, and we will be sending Nero over to losers bracket. An amazing play from both players.